Cool guys, I'm back. It's Andrea for a bit of mobility work today. Um, if you guys haven't seen the previous one, I'm looking at the ankle. I would suggest going and have a look at that. Today we're going to handle a little bit upstream. We're going to look at the calf area. So if you've looked at the ankle, it will help you with this one a little bit more. But just going to touch on loosening up the calf a little bit and allowing us to get more ankle flexion. So the first one I'm going to look at is just a dorsiflexion drill. So you'll be surprised to see how much your ankles actually differ. So what you want, you want a wall or a pole or a rig to set up on. You start off and, and you push your knee and generally most people can easily push the knee into the direction of their toe. You go through about five drills just warming up the ankle there, move it all further away, push into there. And as you go, you'll feel it will stretch your calf more and more and more. And the idea is to obviously get as far back as possible. Don't neglect the other foot, obviously. Um, and I would say you need about 20 drills like that, so 20 per side. Um, and try and get as far as possible away so pressing that knee into the rig forward keeping the heel down obviously is no point if the heel comes off we lose that stretch in the calf and we do not get any benefit out of the drill anymore so that will be the first one warms up the ankles really nicely the second one we're going to go into is just squat sit so having something to hold on to get your feet into a squat stance I'm going to focus on keeping my feet forward not out for this drill because I want to stretch out the calves so I'm going to sit into a good squat pressing the knees out and not too worried about back spine position my focus is working on the ankles it's unloaded so I'm going to pull myself over forward pull myself into my right side keep that ankle down push the knee over stretching out the calf and swivel over to the other side and, and really get into into that into a good stretch and you can spend easily two to three minutes in this position just working side to side and and you really really see the difference in your squats as well if you warm this up nicely if you know you've got ankle mobility issues um, sometimes it comes out of the calf stretch there and it's going to allow us to loosen that up and get into it nicely after that something that um, grabbing a band and just having a bit of a stretch you can lie down um, what you want to do is you can get the band around the foot don't worry about too much tension I'm not too worried about the hamstring it's not for the hamstring today but I'm gonna inverse the foot and stretch it in and it's actually gonna give me a really good stretch now you can see that I'm pulling more on my left side here for this one so I can really feel the stretch in the calf area there and we can even roll the foot out pull out pull onto the other side and really just get that ankle going there um, so that translates back into my calf and as I mentioned in another video is we mustn't think about our muscles as one dimensional it's got more than one dimension so we need to stretch it in all different ways and find what is what is your problem now the purpose of these videos is not to fix everything because everybody's got different issues but it's to give you guys an idea a guideline of what's out there to be done if you guys are looking for more info please Give the coaches a shout, they, they will definitely help you guys out or drop us a message on the video. Cool.